I'm Tyler Boschman. Today I'm going to be talking about exactly what I take into the backcountry. Um, I have an upcoming bear hunt, spring bear hunt, about three days. So this is exactly what I'm going to take into the backcountry with me here in Oregon. Um, I'll start over here. This is my shelter. It's a Hillenburg Enan, um, pretty bomb proof tent. Looking forward to trying that. Um, my sleeping bag is an REI Mojave. It's a 15 degree down bag. Uh, not much to say there. What I carry it in is this uh, is the event material. It's an awesome way to pack your uh, your sleeping bag. It can press down and also keep moisture and stuff out of there, especially with the down bag for me. That's you know hunting in Alaska and whatnot. What I, I really enjoyed having that and you know having that ability to press the air out of there and sunch it down pretty good helps. Um, for my sleeping pad, I just use a big Agnes insulated sleeping pad. Um, packs down fairly light, fairly small. Uh, what I will wear most of the time, I got a couple layers of cryptic. This is their merino wool. I have a long sleeve and a short sleeve. And I have their lightweight pants. Um, been using that last couple years, that kind of stuff, and seem to hold up to the stickers and whatnot. Uh, I've got a pair of socks for stocking in on something when I want to slip my shoes off. And I've got my normal socks that I use with my um, shoes and then I have a uh, just an Air Force issue beanie um, and then some smart wool underwear um, one thing I really enjoy having is this uh, shamal say it right uh, I got this in Afghanistan and I find all sorts of ways to use that put it over my ears when it's real sunny or or set up a blind so um, my water purification system is just gonna be, I take a platypus bag, and a lot of guys are doing this. I'll come in here and I fill up my dirty bag and I label it and uh, hook it all up and then just squeeze squeeze the dirty water through the filter into my bag that's probably either in my bag or sometimes I pull it out, it just depends on the situation. And then the syringe to back clean the, the filter. Um, that kind of varies depending on where I'm gonna be hunting. Um, I need water to be flowing some kind of creek or, or you know something I can get water out of fairly easy. In New Mexico I use a pump down there. But um, also forgot to use for my insulating layer. I use this first light, it's the puffy. Works pretty good. As far as my camera, I use a Nikon, it's the Coolpix P7700. Um, I really like this camera just because it has the ability to do raw photos. And for my headlamp, I've uh, been using this thing for quite a few years. It's not super bright, but it's a uh, Princeton Tech Fuel. Uh, pretty cheap, good light. Um, this last year, uh, on my elk hunt in New Mexico, I started using this inReach, uh, and it works awesome if you can either hook it up to your phone and, and text messages that way, or you can actually, just through this device, you can text and uh, send messages home. And um, that's really worth having in the pack. Um, ended up meeting up with a buddy because of this and packing out my bull last year. Um, just use a Vortex, their range 1000. Works pretty good. And the Oregon 600, I put the Oregon maps on here. And that helps me, you know, no boundaries and whatnot where I can and can't be. Uh, extra release, I always carry one of those, I always seem to break stuff. Um, got the jet boil sole, the titanium, and the titanium spork by Brunton. And here real quick is actually three days worth of food. And in here I put usually just one mountain house and a bunch of miscellaneous tuna. I got part of an MRE in there, some wilderness athlete, uh, nuts and whatnot. So. That comes out to be right about a pound and a half per bag. So that's per day right there. And that's just shy of 3,000 calories. Um, you use baby wipes, pretty self-explanatory there. And my miscellaneous bag, this is where I keep a little bit of 550 cord, um, a Leatherman, just in case I have to work on my bow, or something like that, extra batteries, camera batteries. And then also my toothbrush, toothpaste, fire starter. I got a backup um, iodine tablets in case you know, my filter stops working or something happens there. I punch or something. I have at least 
a way to procure water still. Uh, tying all PMs, must have a little bit of duct tape, compass, whistle, miscellaneous first aid stuff. Um, in here I keep a pretty long set of uh, dilute material um, just in case I, I cut my uh, string here that holds my rest up and down. Um, it's pretty nice having an extra extra string there. And over here I've got my kill kit. Pretty straightforward. This last year I switched over to uh, <coughs> trying out the outdoor edge instead of the Havilon. I busted quite a few blades there, mostly user error, but anyway, extra blades there. Just a little bit of flagging tape in case I just want to you know, hit a spot where I, I hit an animal or whatnot. And then, of course, a little bit more 550 cord and then the tag bags. Um, my bino are Swarovski's ELs, eight and a half by 42s. Um, love these. I love the, you know, have a little bit bigger optical image and whatnot with that. So um, I carry them in this Alaska Guide Creations bino harness and in it, it's pretty neat just because I can have a few little things like my wind checker and my lens cleaner especially here in Oregon they fog up and whatnot and this has a little part where I can squeegee it off clean it up and all that fits in my XO 3500 okay here it is I got everything bagged up um, for my three-day bear hunt here in Oregon with uh, with food except for water I'm right at 24 pounds and maybe two ounces. So figure in maybe eight to 10 pounds of water and, and uh, that's where I'm gonna be for three days.